welcome to Gravity Productions. The mat made out of screw pine leaves is quite common in Kerala. It takes a lot of skill to tame the sword like leaf into a soft mat. So let's see how it's done. Screw pine as the name suggests is a pretty nasty plant with thorns that could slice right through your hand. And that might have been the reason why people use them to plant them on the boundaries of their property. Who cares if an encroaching neighbor is smacked in the face with the sword like leaves? But today, we are going to show you how these various leaves are tamed by a grandma to resemble a soft mat that can make any baby's bump purr. Screw pine belongs to the Pandanaceae family and the genus Pandanus. The leaves can be used after a year when the leaves are matured. It grows near marshy land and is pretty low maintenance as it doesn't require any fertilizer to grow. The next step is prepping, where the leaves are cut and the spines are removed. Most of the time, the leaves are boiled in water to give it strength. It is allowed to dry for the next 3 or 4 days. The leaves of screw pine are often used in cooking. It provides a unique flavor and is even used in biryanis and to complement chocolate in some other cases. A lot of people say that sleeping on a screw pine mat is good for arthritis and other joint pains. The weaving of the mat takes long hours and a lot of skill. It is then divided into small sections that is straightened using a knife. The demand for screw pine mats are increasing as people become more conscious about the synthetic materials they use every day. So, Switching from plastic mats to the traditional screw pine mats is healthy and eco-friendly. No artificial or synthetic material is used in this process. Well, the next step is a bit complex. A single strand of screw pine is horizontally placed that represents the length of the mat. Another strand is crossed over from the middle to form a lock. The weaving always begins from the corner. The first wave is larger than the rest of the mat to provide strength and durability. So the whole weaving process is repetitive. The horizontal weave acts as the base while the vertical wave is webbed till we get a complete mat. To make it more attractive, it is dipped in bright colors and woven together to create new patterns. Colors are added to the strands by putting them in boiled water and adding the required ink. The 
government has formed the collective commission to protect these crafts and craftswomen through a body called Small Farmers Agri Business Consortium or SFAC in short. The body brings in students from the designing industry to teach these women in Kerala how to make new products that can be used to attract customers. In some cases, the bed mats are made by sewing two of the screw pine mats to get a cushioned effect. The craft is practiced by artisans across all the districts of Kerala. It has a long history spanning 800 years. The mats were also a part of the custom and traditions of Kerala. Auspicious guests were given mats to be sat upon in honour. In Kerala, this industry is mainly handled by women. What started out as a necessity grew to be a form of additional income for the family. Yet, their skill is far from being recognized. They are paid low wages and profits are only made by the middlemen in the industry. So this craft is slowly dying out. Nowadays, the traditional craftsmen have shifted from making mats to other items such as bags, cushions or jewellery boxes. Even toys are made from these leaves. The edges of the mat are also made by stretching bright colored threads. Loose strands are removed to create a smooth finish. Sarasama lives in Waikim where the craft is widespread due to the abundance of screw pine leaves. She has made screw pine mats for the past two decades. It takes about two to three days to create a single mat.
Nowadays, the mall is sold for 500 Indian rupees in shops. I used to remember a time when every baby in Kerala had a photo taken while laying on a school pine mat. Most of them first started crawling on them or even took their first step on it. So, let's not forget this craft and the lovely women who made these mats for babies across the world with love and care of a mother. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment and share.